Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament in 88 days. We're on day 72. We will be reading Isaiah chapters 32 through 42. And uh, after this, it's pretty much just one more day of Isaiah. So, go ahead and get started. Isaiah 32, verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, and the eyes of them that shall see, see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. The vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the troll said to be bountiful. The vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity, to practice hypocrisy, and to utter error against Yahweh, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The instruments also of the troll are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. For the liberal deviseth liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. Rise up, ye women that are at ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall be, ye be troubled, ye careless women. The vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the cheats, and for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city, because the palaces shall be forsaken, the multitude of the city shall be left, the forts and towers shall be for dens forever, a joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks, till the Spirit be poured out upon us from on high, and the wilderness be a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Then judgment shall dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness remain in the fruitful field. And the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, and in sure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. When it shall hail, coming down on the forest, and the city shall be low in a low place. Blessed are ye that sow beside all watchers, that send forth thither the feet of the ox and the ass. Isaiah 33 Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and when dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. We, Yahweh, be gracious unto us, we have waited for thee. Be thou their arm every morning, our salvation, also in the time of trouble. At the noise of the tumult, the people fled. At the lifting of thyself, the nations were scattered. And your spoils shall be gathered like the gathering of the caterpillar, as the running to and fro of locusts shall he run upon them. Yahweh is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Behold, their valiant ones shall cry without. The ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lie waste, the wayfaring man ceaseth. He hath broken the covenant, he hath despised the cities, he regardeth no man. The earth mourneth and languisheth, Lebanon is ashamed and hewed down. Shaun is like a wilderness, and Bashan and Kamel shake off their fruits. Now will I rise, saith Yahweh, now will I be exalted, now will I lift up myself. Ye shall conceive chaff, ye shall bring forth stubble, your breath as fire shall devour you. And people shall be as the burnings of lime, as thorns cut up shall they be burned in the fire. Hear that ye are far off, what have I done? And ye that are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness hath surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall deal, dwell with the dwar and fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that despiseth the grain of oppressions. He that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high, his place of defense shall be munitions of rocks, bread shall be given him, his water shall be sure. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty, they shall behold and lay, 
Behold the land that is very far off. Thine heart shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the towers? Thou shalt not see a fierce people, a people of deeper speech than thou canst perceive, of a stammering tongue that thou canst not understand. Look upon Zion, the city of our solemnities. Then I shall see Jerusalem a quiet habitation, a tabernacle that shall not be taken down, not one of the stakes thereof shall ever be removed, neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken. But there the glorious Yahweh will be unto us a place of broad rivers and streams, wherein shall go no galley of with oars, neither shall gallant ship pass thereby. For Yahweh is our judge, Yahweh is our lawgiver, Yahweh is our king, he will save us. Amen to that, right? The tacklings are loose, they could not well strengthen their mast, they could not spread the sail. Then is the prey of a great swell divided, the lame take the prey. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick, the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Isaiah 34 Come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken, ye people, let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the inundation of Yahweh is upon all nations, and his fear upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them, he hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come upon their carcass, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falls from off the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Edomia, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood, it is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of the lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys and rams. For Yahweh hath a sacrifice in Bozrah, and a great slaughter in the land of Edomia. The Nicurin shall come down with them, and the bulks of the bulls in their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance, and this the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become a burning pitch, and shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up for ever. From generation to generation it shall lay waste, and none shall pass through it for ever and ever. But the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it, the owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion the stones of emptiness. They shall call the nobles thereof to the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all her princes shall be nothing. And thorns shall come up in her palaces, nettles and brambles in the fortresses thereof, and it shall be an habitation of dragons and a court for owls. The wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the land, and the satyr shall cry to his fellow, the screech owl also shall rest there, and find for herself a place of rest. There shall the great owl make her nest, and lay, and hatch, and gather under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her mate. Seek ye out of the brook of Yahweh, and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. And he hath cast the lot for them, and his hand hath divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it for ever. From generation to generation shall they dwell therein. Isaiah 35 The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with the joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it, the excellency of Carmel and Sharon, and they shall see the glory of Yahweh, the excellency of our Elohim. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not, behold, your Elohim will come with vengeance, even Elohim with a recompense. He will come and save you. And the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For the wilderness shall waters break out in streams in the desert. The parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of dragons, where each lay, shall be grass with reeds and rushes. And a highway shall be there in a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. No land shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. 
and the ransomed of Yahweh shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow, and sign shall flee away. Isaiah 36 Now it came to pass in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah that Sennacherib king of Assyria came up against all the defense cities of Judah and took them. The king of Assyria sent Rabshakeh from Lachish to Jerusalem unto King Hezekiah with a great army, and he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. Then came forth unto him Eliakim, Hilkiah's son, which was over the house, and Shebna, the scribe, and Joah, Asaph's son, the recorder. And Rabshakeh said unto them, Say ye now to Hezekiah, Thus saith the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is there wherein thou trustest? I say, sayest thou, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for war. Now on whom dost thou trust that thou rebellest against me? Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust him. But if thou say to me, We trust in Yahweh our Elohim, it is not he whose high places and whose altars Hezekiah hath taken away, and said to Judah to and to Jerusalem, Ye shall worship before the altar? Now therefore give pledges, I pray thee, to my master, king of Assyria. And I will give thee two thousand horses, if thou be able on thy part to set riders upon them. Now then wilt thou turn away the face of one captain of the least of my master's servant, and put thy trust on Egypt for chariots and for horsemen. Am I now come up without Yahweh against the land to destroy it? Yahweh said unto me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim and Shebna and Joah unto Rabshakeh, Speak, I pray thee, unto thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and speak not to us in the Jews' language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rabshakeh said, Hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men that sit upon the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you? Then Rabshakeh stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jews' language, and said, Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Syria. Thus saith the king, Let not Hezekiah deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in Yahweh, saying, Yahweh will surely deliver us. This city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hearken not to Hezekiah, for thus saith the king of Assyria, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the waters of his own cistern, till I come and take you away to a land like your own a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards. Beware lest Hezekiah persuade you, saying, Yahweh will deliver us. Hath any of the gods of the nations delivered his hand out of the hand of king of Assyria? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arphad? Where are the gods of Shavarvim? And have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Who are they among all the gods of these lands that have delivered their land out of my, land, my hand? That Yahweh should deliver Jerusalem out of my hand. But they held their peace, and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was, saying, Answer him not. Then came Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, that was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah, the son of Asaph, the recorder, to Hezekiah, with their clothes rent, and told him the words of Rabshakeh. Isaiah 37 And it came to pass, when king Hezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of Yahweh. He sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth unto Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amoz. And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and of blasphemy. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be Yahweh the Elohim will hear these, the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria his master hath sent to reproach the living Elohim, and will approve the words which Yahweh thy Elohim hath heard. Wherefore lift up thy prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of king Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall ye say unto your master, Thus saith Yahweh, Be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard, wherewith the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rabshakeh returned, and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Akish, and he heard say concerning Turka, king of Ethiopia, He has come forth to make war with thee. And when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, 
Thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy Elohim, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all the lands by destroying them utterly, and shalt thou be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them, which my fathers have destroyed, as Gozen, and Haran, and Rezpah, and the children of Eden, which were in Telassar? Where is the king of Hamath, and the king of Arphad, and the king of the city of Sephar, Ram, Henna, and Eva? And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers, and read it. And Hezekiah went up to the house of Yahweh, and spread it before Yahweh. Hezekiah prayed unto Yahweh, saying, O Yahweh of hosts, Elohim of Israel, that dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the Elohim, even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth, and thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline thine ear, O Yahweh, and hear me. Open thine eyes, O Yahweh, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib, which hath sent to reproach the living Elohim. Of a truth, Yahweh, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries, have cast their gods into fire, for they were no gods but the work of men's hands, wood and stone, wherefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Yahweh, our Elohim, save us from his hand, and all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Elo Yahweh, even thou only. And Isaiah the son of Amos sent unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith Yahweh, Elohim of Israel, whereas thou hast prayed to me against Sennacherib king of Assyria, this is the word which Yahweh hath spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, hath despised thee and laughed at thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her hand at, head at thee. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed, and against whom hast thou exalted thy voice, and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel? By thy servants hast thou reproached the Lord, and hast said, By the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the height of his border, and the forest of his Kamal. I have digged and drunk water, and with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers and besieged places. Hast thou not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times how I formed it? Now I have brought it to pass that thou shouldst be to lay waste, defense cities, and ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as grass of the field, and as the green herb, and as that grass on the housetops, and as corn blasted before it be grown up. But I know thy abode, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy rage against me, because thy rage against me, and thy tumult is come up into mine ears. Therefore, will I put my hook in thy nose, and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back to, by the way which thou camest. And this shall be a sign to thee, ye shall eat this year such as groweth on of itself, and the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of Yahweh of hosts, shall do this. Therefore thus saith Yahweh concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. By the way he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, saith Yahweh. For I will defend this city to save it for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And the angel of Yahweh went forth, and smote in the camp of the Syrians a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Wow. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt in Nineveh. And it came to pass as he was worshipping in the house of Nishroth his god, the Amor that Amorodolek and Sherazar his sons smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Armenia, and Ershadon his son reigned in his stead. Isaiah 38 In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos came unto him, and said unto him, Thus saith Yahweh, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die, and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall, and prayed unto Yahweh, and said, Remember now, O Yahweh, I beseech thee, I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, done that which was good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of Yahweh to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith Yahweh, the Elohim of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, and have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee in this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. 
and it shall be a sign to thee from Yahweh that Yahweh will do this thing that he hath spoken. O thou will bring again the shadow of the degrees which has gone down in the sundial of Ahaz, ten degrees backwards. So the sun returned to ten degrees by which degrees it was gone down. The writing of Hezekiah king of Judah, when he had been sick, was recovered of his sickness. He said in the cutting off of my days, I shall go to the gates of my grave. I am deprived of the residue of my years. I said, I shall not see Yahweh, even Yahweh, in the land of the living. I shall behold man no more worth the inhabitants of the world. Mine age is departed and is removed from me as a shepherd's tent. I have cut off like a weaver in my life. You will cut me off with pinning sickness from day even to night. Wouldst thou make an end of me? I reckon till morning that as a lion so will he break all my bones from day even to night. Wilt thou make an end of me? Like a crane or swallow, so did I chatter. I did mourn as a dove. Mine eyes fail with looking upward. O Yahweh, I am oppressed. Undertake for me. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me, and himself hath done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me, and make me to live. Behold, for peace I had great bitterness, but thou hast in love my, to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption. Thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. The grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall praise thee as I do this day. The father to the children shall be, make known thy truth. Yahweh was ready to save me, therefore we will sing my songs to the string instruments all the days of our life in the house of Yahweh. For Isaiah said, Let them take a lump of figs, lay it for a plaster upon the boil, and he shall recover. Hezekiah also said, What is a sign that I shall go up to the house of Yahweh? Isaiah 39. At that time, Merodach Beladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. And Hezekiah was glad of them and showed them the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment, and all the house of his armor and all that was found in his treasurers. There was nothing in his house nor in all his dominion that Hezekiah showed them not. And came Isaiah the prophet and king Hezekiah and said to him, What said these men, and from whence came they unto thee? Hezekiah said, They are come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon. Then said he, What have they seen in thine house? And Hezekiah answered, All that is in mine house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. Then said Isaiah to Hezekiah, Hear the words of Yahweh of hosts. Behold, the days come, that all that is in thine house, and that which thy fathers have laid up in store until this day, shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith Yahweh. And of thy sons shall, that shall issue from thee, which shall, thou shalt beget, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then said Hezekiah to Isaiah, Good is the word of Yahweh which thou hast spoken. He said, Moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. 40. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your Elohim. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her, that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Yahweh's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Yahweh. Make straight in the desert a highway for our Elohim. Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of Yahweh shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of Yahweh hath spoken it. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the spirit of Yahweh bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our Elohim shall stand for ever. O Zion, what bringest good tidings? Get thee up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem, that thou bringest good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength, lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your Elohim. Behold, the Lord Elohim will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that 
are with young, who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and meted out heaven with a span, and comprehended the dust of the earth, and a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance, who hath directed the spirit of Yahweh, or being his counsel, hath taught him, with whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed to him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small of the dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. To whom, then, will you liken Elohim, or what likeness will you compare unto him? The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth the tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Tis he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretched out the heavens as a curtain, and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. That bringeth the princes to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown, yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal? saith the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might. For that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Who sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel? My way is hid from Yahweh, and my judgment is passed over from my Elohim. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting Elohim Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength, and shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. What a great verse that is. That's probably going to be my verse of the day. They that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, shall renew their strength. And they, that, and they shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen to that. I think at times we all, all of us who are waiting on, on God, waiting on the Lord, can feel weariness and may be depressed at times and um, not not necessarily losing faith but just maybe tired of waiting I guess the same you know the same thing weariness tired of waiting sort of thing but still being patient enough to wait so it's nice to know that our waiting will not be for nothing as I 41 Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near and let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and made him ruler over kings? He gave them as the dust of his sword, and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet, who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations to the beginning. I, Yahweh, the first and with the last, I am he. The isles sought and feared, and the ends of the earth were afraid, drew near, and came. They helped everyone his neighbor, and everyone said to his brother, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth with the hammer him, that smote the anvil, saying, It is ready for the soldering. He fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy Elohim. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. That's another great one. I know in this context he's speaking about... Um, children of Israel, Israel, he's, he's 
addressing Israel here, but I think this could apply to all of us even today. Because, I mean, it's true. God is with us, and we should not fear. He will strengthen us. He will help us. And, um, you know, as the other verses say, he will never leave us nor forsake us. So, despite the context, I think this we could apply this to us as well. And for that one, too. Isaiah 41.10 Behold, all they that were increased against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and thou shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, Yahweh, the Elohim, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in Yahweh, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor are needy, seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst. I, Yahweh, will hear them. I, the Elohim of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers and high places, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. I will plant the wilderness of the cedar the shitta tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree, and I will set the desert, the fir tree, and the pine, and the box tree together, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of Yahweh hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. Produce your cause, saith Yahweh, bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them, or declare us things for to come. Show the things that are cometh hereafter, that we may know and that ye are gods, yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught, an abomination is he that chooseth you. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come, the rising of the sun shall he call upon my name, and he shall come upon princes as a mortar, and in the potter treadeth clay. Who hath declared from the beginning that we may know? And before time that we may say, He is righteous. Yea, there is none that showeth. Yea, there is none that declareth. Yea, there is none that heareth your words. The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. For I beheld, and there was no man, even among them there was no counselor, that when I asked of them could answer a word. Behold, they are all vanity, their works are nothing, their molten images are wind and confusion. Isaiah 42 Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith Elohim of, of Yahweh, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and the spirit to them that walk therein. I, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and to them that sit in darkness out to the prison house. I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell of you. Sing unto Yahweh a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rocks sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto Yahweh and declare his praise to the islands. Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have a long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs. And I will make the rivers, islands, 
and I will drive the pools. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not, and I will wade them in the paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. They shall be turned back, they shall be greatly ashamed, that trust in graven images, that say to molten image, Ye are our gods. Hear ye deaf, and look, ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf, as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind, as he that is perfect, as blind as Yahweh's servant? Seeing many things, but thou observest not, opening the ears, but he heareth not. Yahweh is well pleased for his righteousness sake, he will magnify the law, and make it honorable. But this is a people of robbed and spoiled, they are all of them snared in holes, and they are all hid in prison houses, they are all are for a prey, and none delivereth, for a spoil, and none saith, Restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not Yahweh? He against whom we have sinned. For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and hath set him on fire round about, yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Okay. Some great verses. I'm going to have a hard time choosing a verse of the day because there's a really great one in 41.10 and another great one in 40.31, so... Yeah, thank you guys so much. That's going to be it for today. Hope you have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care, God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him, trust in Him, and wait upon Him. And you'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with more Isaiah. So, thanks again. Take care.